Hey everybody, I am Allison Hillman. I am the Allison and BTP by Allison, been there photography, and this is a presentation of Lady Boss Branding. I am bringing you the best St. Louis has to offer in small businesses, and I have the glorious, just fantastic human Deanna Lay here with I Know a Guy slash Gal. This woman and her hubby are transforming the networking world in St. Louis and beyond. Thank you for being on here with me. How are you today, lovely? I'm, I'm doing great. I am absolutely doing great. Thanks, Allison. You're a rock star, by the way. Takes one to know one, sister. So, ICAG. Um, a lot of people have probably seen, um, if they haven't been to a meeting, they've seen someone they know in the small business world tagged in a post um because cool people know cool people is a very smart woman i know says <laughs> so tell me a little bit about icag sure so we started as a facebook group back in october no i'm sorry february of 2018 um we grew a thousand people a month for the first five months because we found was that that group, which is where people can go on there and ask for recommendations and referrals for work they need done, a service or a product. Um, it was knocking down the walls that is typical St. Louis. You know, when people think of networking, they think about where they do business and they usually only network where they do business. But what ICAG did was kind of break open those walls and knock them down and give people a larger avenue to be able to not only market themselves, but to be able to share um, who they know, like, and trust with people all over the metro area. So we started a couple different Facebook groups across the country from there. Um, then in October of 18, we launched four ICAG Connect meetings. Um, that's our weekly in-person networking meetings where we're able to not only stand on three firm pillars that, that our members um, identify with, but it's all based around our entire philosophy of together is amazing. And if you don't know what together is amazing is, super simple yet very profound. Um, when we all pull together in the same direction for the benefit of the group or each other, amazing things can happen. So. It's been phenomenal. Um, we have 10 meetings here currently. Um, we have one- Where are they located? Oh my gosh, you're gonna make me go through the list. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have one every day at lunchtime. We start with Soulard on Mondays and then we have Ellisville and House Springs and we have Richmond Heights. And then we have O'Fallon and Sunset Hills and Creek Core. And then we have um, De Pere and Florissant. We end the week um, on Fridays with Webster Groves. And then of course- Well we done, ma'am, well done. <laughs> yeah, if I don't know, who knows, right? <laughs> we have one in Wilmington, North Carolina too. Chris and I just got back from a trip there. And it's phenomenal to see like the same culture that we have here in St. Louis where relationships have to come first is also um, being played out out there as well. So it was just like stepping into a St. Louis meeting when we went to visit that one. So we're having a great time with it. So if someone wanted to come to a meeting, what are the rules? Is there a membership? Like, what does that look like for ICAG? Yes. So it only costs a million dollars a month. The check <laughs> made out to me. Now, I can't go to Tahiti right now, but in the future, no, I'm just joking. Um, our goal is to, is to keep networking reasonable. So it's $35 a month or $350 for the year if somebody wants to do an annual membership, save some two months. Um, as far as visiting is concerned, you can visit up to two times total for free. Um, you can figure out really quickly whether you know this is a culture that you find value in and you can provide value to. Um, so whether it's visiting two different meetings or the same meeting twice, we welcome anybody to come and hang out with us because as my friend Allison coined the term, we make networking fun again. We do. Like we network. have, networking doesn't have to be boring, people. It can be fun and you can give hugs and you can have relationships because um, where relationships happen, trust happens and where trust happens, business happens. Yep. And disclaimer, I am the leader of the Sular group and I have to say that it, um, just the culture of the group and everything is just, 
it, it transforms things in a good way because it magical things happen at these meetings. Magical things so. do happen. We have so, a all right. Time with it. We love our members. They're the best part of, of what we do. Our members are amazing. All right. So thank you for teaching. Well, not teaching. I keep saying teaching. Um, informing us about ICAG. Um, you are a teacher. So um, we are going to go into the fun part of this. So business should be personal. And folks at home, you should find someone when you are looking for the different things, whether um, you're hiring someone or joining a networking group, you need to find someone that matches who you are and what you believe in and things of that nature. So I have random questions that we're going to go through. I'm going to set a timer for... Can I interrupt you for two seconds? Yeah. I do want to say there are, uh, there are a lot of amazing ways to network, especially in the St. Louis metro area. And if ICAG isn't for you as a business owner, I, I strongly urge you to find one where you can really start to build those referral partnerships and that family. Find a tribe. If it's not with ICAG, have it be with some other organization. But you can't do life by yourself. We have a tagline that um, you belong at ICAG Connect, but knowing that you're going to reach a ton of different people, like just belong somewhere, plant your feet somewhere. So that's all. Now get to my fun questions. All right. So I'm just going to set the timer for three minutes and however many we get through, we get through. Okay. Don't overthink this. So, okay. Um, so what is your favorite part of your business? Oh my God. The people, the people, okay. um, I, I mean, I could go on and on and on, but, uh, we call it cry keg because <laughs> you and me both sister. It's not, it's not just networking with what we do. It's all about the people. It's all about the relationships. And when you get to know people really, really know them for who they are, like the stories, like the whys, their passions, it's just lights my soul on fire. Yeah. The people. What motivates you to work hard? So I was introduced to the book, The Big Leap by Bob mm -hmm. Bunch. And The Big Leap talks about, I was selling advertising at the time and he's, he like looked me straight in the eyes and he said, Deanna, you're operating right now in your zone of excellence. You can sell, you can sell advertising all day long with your eyes closed, but it's not your zone of genius. Your zone of genius. Mm is not selling advertising. I'd never heard that term before. So he introduced me to that book. And from there, um, I went to, to a three day, um, unleash the power within with Tony Robbins. And we did a, an exercise where we found out like really like who we are as a person, what our superpower is. And mine is making a difference. And so that's what motivates that's me. True. Every single day I wake up knowing that I'm operating in my zone of genius because I'm out there making a difference. And not just me, like look at me, but providing a platform where people can be their best selves. Yeah. Yeah, that is your genius. All right, favorite season? Oh my gosh. Fall, I love fall. I love hiking in the, with season leaves change. Yeah, I could never live somewhere where, where the leaves don't change. All right, favorite drink? Um, Alcohol, Moscow Mule, although I do like a good vodka club with lime because it's only 69 calories and you got to watch that. Um, I'm, I'm in love with LaCroix, like the mm -hmm. hibiscus flavor of LaCroix. I don't know. We, we didn't try the hibiscus for a long time because he wants to drink a flower. It's really, really good. It really, and Aldi has a great price on, on hibiscus, as my husband says. I think I'm going to do hashtag who wants to drink a flower. All right. So what's your favorite St. Louis zoo animal? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the prairie dogs. <laughs> the prairie dogs. Don't laugh. <laughs> okay. Favorite St. Louis attraction? Um, you know what? We just rediscovered the city museum. I yeah. had not been in... in 12 years probably since our kids were little and we just with a friend we um we met them there and we took uh, our granddaughter who's 17 months old there and i tell you what there's some phenomenal if you have not been in a couple years you need to go like they've expanded it like crazy it's awesome st louis or chicago style pizza oh my gosh well there's a story behind it but i have to say chicago mm, don't i'm hate with you me. sister 
I don't, I don't I hate do you. Not like St. Louis pizza. I like St. Louis pizza. I like the corners. I like the corners. Anybody who knows mm. Louis style, I love the corners. But if I have my choice, it's going to be Chicago and it's going to be, um, I can't remember the name of the, oh, Chris is going to kill me. I can't think of the name of the place, but it's not your typical Chicago place. So if I think of it all. No, there's two things St. Louis I don't do, the blues and emos. So, all right. The, the blues hockey? I lived Girl. in Nashville after college. That's okay. I'm not a hockey fan either. It's okay. No, we, I love hockey. Just, oh, wow. Anyway. I like Hall and Oates. I'm like throwback old school. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Fred Hall and Adam Oates, yeah. All right. Last question. Why you? Why me? Mm -hmm. Why me? It's just like, why me or why my business? Why you? Why your business? What makes you special? <sighs> um, so why me is another part of who I am besides making a difference is I'm a cheerleader. And cool girl. whenever yes, somebody's you are. down, whenever somebody needs a boost, whenever somebody doesn't see the best in themselves, um, I have this thing, some people call me naive, but I see the best, I want the best for people. And then, so when I, whenever I, I'm meeting somebody for the first time, I'm able to help them kind of bring the best out of themselves. Sometimes it's through tough love and hard conversations, but other times it's really just like cheering people on. I'm the person when you're running the race, there's a whole bunch of people in the race. I'm with the person who's last bringing up the end because I don't want anybody to finish last. I don't ever want anybody to feel like they're alone in anything that they do. So that's why me. Mm, and that's why I love you. All right, folks. Thank you for joining us today. Deanna, thank you for being on here. Yeah, with me. This was fun. This was fun. So guys, make sure I will drop her information in um, the post, but make sure that you are checking out. If you are a small business and you are looking for a tribe and you've realized in this time of isolation that you need your tribe, definitely come and check out ICAG. There are other opportunities. We've got um, someone else will be joining us soon um, to talk about another tribe, but awesome. make thank you for joining us today. Go change the world. That's right. Go out there and be amazing because after all, what Allison? Together, Together. is amazing. That's right. Love Thanks you guys.